Hey guys, this is Usable24, and today I'm going to show you how to make a game in Unity 3D. So this is Unity 3D, a software game engine, so you can make games. This is a thank you video for all you guys who subscribed, watched my videos. It's now a half million total views and 1,500 subscribers. That is awesome. So thanks a lot all for you guys. This is a thank you video. So um, if you want to go ahead and buy Unity, or not buy, or download Unity 3D, it's free. But you can buy the pro version, which is quite expensive. So if you want to make games for the Xbox, go ahead and buy the pro version. But is it if it's only for like PC, Android, so um, you can get the free Unity 3D. Um, as you can see, if you just go in File and Build Settings, we can all these platforms, as you can see. So let's click that. So we're going to make a game, survival island kind of game, like Far Cry 3 and Minecraft put together. So you have to collect objects and everything, so yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. So go on Google, type in Unity, and go on their website, and download Unity, it's free. So um, once you've done that, you're going to go to their store, which there was a window for the store, and you're going to download Boot Camp. There's the name for Boot Camp. Basically an army already made, Unity game um, with all the scripts and everything so that is going to be quite handy because it has buildings as you can see here a little house with a bridge so yeah it's pretty nice um, or you can always make your own you don't have to download it but if you want to go ahead and download it I'm using it right now so okay let's go terrain create terrain and let me just zoom out click and double click on terrain okay you might get a nice view to it Okay, it's so going to click terrain. As you can see over here, we have the terrain script. So if you click on this button, this raises or lowers the terrain. This one paints the height so it lowers or makes a bit higher the ground. My days. Getting calls all the time from my network. It's quite annoying. Okay, anyway, uh, here's smooth pipes. This one paint texture, place trees paint details and terrain settings. We'll be using three of them, maybe two, but we're using one definitely. So we're going to use paint textures first. We're going to go for brushes, you choose your brush. Um, I'm going to go for mountainous kind of texture. I'm going to go with this one right here. We're going to go to edit and add texture. Also, um, you can always input your or get textures. So go on Google images and type in grass. Um, drag and drop it into your desktop and then drag it in here to the textures folder which is at the bottom we could just type it in here and then you can always use your textures okay so we're gonna go and select our textures we're gonna go here and type in forest we're gonna use forest 2 I'm um, gonna go add and it fills it in and then we are going to I think we'll leave it as the angle. You find a really good angle for that. Okay, it's gonna go edit and add wait hang on. Okay, add texture. Select Forest 3. Okay, we're gonna click this one and we are going to paint. So we're gonna go with this one right here. You can change brush brush size so let's start we're gonna make a sandy beach I think that's a bit too much so um we're gonna probably put water around there so yeah it's gonna look pretty cool we're gonna change that to 50 okay now let's start Basically, just a paint lesson to be honest. You just go paint around. This one makes you go across the map. Okay, carry on. Add in the sand, give that beach effect. Once I finish, there will probably be a download link to download it. So yeah, you can go ahead and play it if you want. 
Let's see, it's finished. Okay, nearly completed it. Uh, we've gone a bit out, but oh well. You can add as many terrains as you want, but we'll just go with one. There we are. So we should get something like that, like a racetrack. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get this ray slash lower terrain tool. We're going to go for brush size of 70. And just go ahead and raise terrain. Yeah, I choose that texture to give it that mountainous effect. You just hover over it. Um, the height increases, so concentrating very hard here, as you can see. Okay, so that should be it. That should be fine. Okay, move a bit. Okay, what we're going to do now is type in here first person controller or do you want third person? Let's try third person real quick. Oops. No, don't have it. Okay, so go first person controller and drag and drop. Okay, so there. Okay, we're going to double click first person controller and then we're going to go ahead and click this button bring that up make sure it's above the ground okay and then press play but before we do that this is the scene this is where you create stuff this is what the game actually looks like let's go ahead and click play as you can see you can move well we can't move you can walk or well, not walk what am, I, what am I saying? You can uh, look around. So yeah, it's got that sand effect with the grass, and we have some a hill. Might need to improve that. And then over there will be the sea. Okay, that's that's looking good. So, yeah, great detail there. Okay, what we, we got to do now? Zoom out. Okay, so we got to go and. Go to game objects, create other, and direction lights, and that should light up things. It's our sun. Okay, play the game. As you can see, there is lights. 